Hi guys, and welcome back to Moonfox Models. I found this My Little Pony magazine in my local grocery store a few days ago, and the accessories are so small and so cute, and I thought maybe they will work with Schleich. And in a moment we will find out, but first I just wanted to give you a quick channel update. Basically from now on I'm only gonna upload one video a week. If I have time to film and edit I might upload more. But basically things are getting really busy and I simply don't have time. I'm so sorry guys. I also want to make other types of videos rather than just unboxings. I want to try to make some tutorials and I have some other ideas that I want to explore. So please understand when I'm saying that I don't have time to film or upload as much as I want to. And I hope you understand. So. Now let's get right into unboxing these My Little Pony accessories. So here we have the magazine. And it's in Swedish, if anyone's curious, and I'm sorry guys, I don't have a lot of interest in the actual magazine. Here we have a super cute Applejack, but unfortunately she doesn't really fit in my collection. So I'm gonna put her to the side. Here are the accessories, they are so cute. Give me a second and I will remove them from the packaging so we can have a better look. Here we have everything unboxed and I went to get a Schleich table and also Lisa from Schleich Horse Club. Just to make it a little bit easier to show scale and it was a little bit boring with just putting them on the white backdrop. Anyway, let's start with our apple tree. So it's very basic and it's actually really bad quality and it's hollow on the back. I wish we had gotten two of these though because it would be nice to put them on either side of a jump as decorations. And you can see it is quite small. But I might find a use for it. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Maybe a really tiny wheelbarrow. But I'm really not sure. Maybe I can use it as a decoration of some kind. Maybe fill it with flowers. That might look nice. Here we have a little basket, and it has this weave pattern on the sides, and you can put the handle up or down. I really think this is cute, but I don't like the color, I think it's a little bit too boring and basic, but it works really well with Lisa. So the scale is perfect for Schleich, but I will probably actually repaint this because it looks quite boring. Here we have a basket of green apples. And these are really cheap toys, so the quality isn't great. And this is hollow and it looks a little weird scene from the sides, but this would actually look really cute in a feed room or maybe even a farmer's market or something. So I really like this. And also, I think the scale works pretty well for Schleich. Here we have one of the watering can. This is the smaller watering can. 
and the quality of this particular water can is really bad. But it's really cute and this is the smaller of the two we get. <laughs> she dropped it. Okay Lisa, focus. But I actually think it works well with the scale. Doesn't look too large. Uh, Lisa drops it quite easily, but for size, I think it works really well. And here we have the other watering can. This also works really well, and this is a little bit larger than the pink one. But they're both really cute and they will definitely add some detail to any barn or stable. The comb looks really nice but it is actually way too big to be used for Schleich no matter how you put it. Even if you were to use it for the horses it's way out of scale. But that's alright maybe I can find another use for it. And last but not least, we have this really adorable little gardening tool that I actually want to repaint to break up the purple a little bit. And the best part is this fits like really well. So this fits in Lisa's hand perfectly. And it can be used like this as well. So I'm really happy with this little, do you call it a spade? So this is really cute. That was my review of these My Little Pony accessories from a My Little Pony magazine. I have no idea where you can find this magazine or if it's even available in your country. But this video was mostly made as a reminder of always be on the lookout for items that might fit your scale. Whether you're collecting Schleich or Breyer or Barbie. There's always things to be found if you keep your eyes open. And don't be afraid to experiment. Just don't buy really expensive things if you aren't sure they're gonna fit. Because it would be a shame if you waste your money. Anyway, I am super excited to have gotten some watering cans and a picnic basket and another basket with apples to my collection. And I hope to be able to use them in my barns in the future. I hope you, that this video inspired you to be on the lookout for things for your own collection. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great night and bye!